Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What? Um, so, we, thank you. so we left Oakley Village, and, and I, I built a house for us uh, in what's the first street in Iowa, it's right behind Annesley. Uh, on your, uh, that's south of Towson. And uh, that was where we were living, uh, like in 1947, I built that. And we, um, but it was, the property became for sale in Cockeysville. And it was one of those cocky mansions that we talked about before we started this interview uh, was 10 acres of land and they wanted a magnificent sum of $30,000. So uh, people that lived in Cockeysville, especially uh, people, affluent people such as the Goldbergs who were the kind of the, uh, the, the commercial people in, in Cockeysville, thought that was much too much money. But it didn't sound like too much to me if I could borrow enough of it. <laughs> so, uh, sure enough, the Towson uh, Building and Loan, I think that's what they were called, Towson Building and Loan, loaned me $25,000 and I got the rest of it together and bought that property. Uh, so that's when I kind of changed headquarters, living headquarters, to Cockeysville. Uh, and became a citizen of Cockeysville. That was a, a, a big move because it uh, uh, wasn't long after that. Excuse me, about what year was that that you moved to Cockeysville? I think it was about 1950. Mm -hmm. It wasn't long after that that uh, uh, well, we, we, we were doing a little bit of work for Williamson Veneer Company which was on the east side of York Road, just behind the, the brewery building there. Uh, Jack Williamson owned that. Uh, and we were doing some work for him. And he had a farm property that he, he wanted to sell. Uh, it was like 60 acres, uh, which was, and Trying to remember the man's name right now, it's, it's just eluding me. But uh, the the man that had founded AAI, whose headquarters was in Pimlico area, had was buying the 40 acre portion, and Jack wanted to also sell the 20 acre portion. And I uh, so I said, I'd like to buy that from you. <laughs> I went back to my friends at Towson and uh, borrowed another $25,000 and uh, bought 20 acres, which is now on the south side of Industry Lane, which, by the way, I named and paid for the initial, uh, half of the initial paving of it. So, um, and uh, the, the president of AI's name is almost, I'll probably think of it before we're finished here. But that really made me a big landholder in, in, uh, in Baltimore County. Uh, so we built a number of buildings for AAI, as well as we built a number of, of buildings for, uh, I, I had my ex-Sunday school teacher, attorney as a partner, we, and we did, we built a number of buildings on the south side of Industry Lane. Only two of them remain there now, the rest of them have been torn down to, and uh, we built a Home Depot. So, uh, between, uh, I don't remember doing uh, much of anything north of uh, Lanham. Uh, in Timonium, the Lutherville Timonium, until you get up to the, the Cockeysville area. So, uh, 
you are aware of, that I think uh, we discussed this earlier, and not in this interview, but uh, just an informal, that the first uh, Cockeysville Library, the Baltimore County Library, was on uh, that a portion of that land, that 10 acres that I bought then in 1950. Uh, that was a very, I thought that was a very interesting story, if you don't mind. Tell, tell the whole story. <laughs> okay. Tell the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, well, Coggiesville that was a, a, a little town. Uh, really, there was no such thing as Hunt Valley. It's what the Coggiesville was the town. But it did not have a library of any kind. People had to go to Towson to go to, to borrow books. So two people, Jack Williamson's wife, Barbara, and uh, another lady, uh, I remember her last name was Dixon, I can't remember her first name, but they lived connect, they were neighbors, decided that there should be some kind of a, a lending library in Coffeesville, and they they did it with just like a a, a, uh, a sign, <laughs> and 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 uh, it got very popular, and they needed a room, and so there were eleven men from Cockeysville, kind of industry leaders, that got together. I can remember some of them. It was Jack Williamson. Uh, from the Williamson veneer, there was O.H. Williamson from another veneer company. There was uh, uh, Mr. Brooks, the president of the Cockeyville National Bank. Um, there was myself, I think uh, Mr. Tyree, I'm not sure, but I can't remember all 11 of them right now. I hope we some ever know the record. Decided that uh, they would buy the house where this sign was, and it was for sale. And rent, uh, you give one, one of the rooms would be for the library. Well, and it got uh, very successful. <laughs> and so then it needed two rooms. And it was very successful. <laughs> so now they needed a librarian. And uh, there was somebody who came and acted as librarian. I can't remember whether it was every day of the week or just certain days of the week. But it was very successful. <laughs> so uh, they needed more. And uh, they, what happened was they said, what do we do? And I said, well, I have this land. Uh, you want to build a library on it? He said, we don't have any money to do that. Uh, I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I can borrow the money, I will build the building for you, and you can rent it. How do you have money to do that? And they said, yeah, we can get that in the budget. So uh, we established the first real library on, on that land. Uh, as far as history is concerned, about that time, uh, a place called the Hemp Property came for sale. Now that property started just, just a little bit south of, of the Cockeysville National Bank and went down to the creek that's uh, south of, uh, just short of the creek, that's south of Warren Road. There was no Warren Road west of, the, of York Road at the time. And so I got a couple of guys together and we bought that property. Well, the entrance to that property had stone that was quarried out of the Beaver Dam about the same time the Washington Monument stone was out. And so we built a, a seat wall with a flagpole outside of the library. So, so we had the original history from uh, way back and we had our brand new library. I, I, I like that idea. Uh, it was very successful. So they needed more space. And we added a, a, a large, we, we leased it to them for I think 10 years, something, 10 or 15 years. But about five years into it, they needed more space. So we built more space, did a new lease, 
and it was very successful. So they needed more space, and they decided could we, could, they wanted to know if they could get out of the lease, and they, that's when they built the new library that's just downhill from us here. So uh, you know, I feel real good about having been a part of the library history. Uh, so but that's, that is how this, the Baltimore County Library for Cockneyville evolved from a couple of ladies trying to do something on a volunteer basis to what we have today. Excellent.